And I get lots of thumbs up when I'm driving it. I have a lot of people that want to try and race me too, <laughs> but I'm not into that. My name is Justin Woodham. I'm a Nissan specialty technician here at Z1. Uh, before I came here, I was at a Nissan dealership down in Auburn, Alabama for 12 years as a master technician. And I've been in Nissan and Datsuns just about all my life. Uh, I've always liked R32s. Uh, I never really paid much attention to the pricing of them. And at the time, I was sinking money in my little uh, B13 Sentra. And then I really learned how, at the time, affordable that GTRs were. So I was like, I need to quit sinking money in my Sentra. And I sold the Sentra and everything that went with it. And I sold some other things. Uh, to make way for the GTR, but it took me nearly a year, a little over a year and a half to find the one I was looking for because my main criteria, it had to be a bubble free dash and no major dents or dings and absolutely zero rust. I found one in Orlando and it was actually a red one that I was looking for. He had a red one, but when I saw it, he had a pretty messed up dash that really turned me off, but he had a gray one and it checked all my boxes. And I test drove it, found out the clutch was slipping, so I had to make arrangements for towing it back home. Um, got it home, uh, fixed the clutch in it, put a new flywheel in it, drove it for about three weeks, and then the factory ceramic turbos decided to take a crap, <laughs> which is a very common problem with a stock GTR. Uh, as it sits now, it has a set of SSR GTX-01 wheels and 18 nine and a half 15 offset square with 275 35 continental extreme contacts uh, the car came with some impul springs and shocks for the lowered uh, stance that it has uh, they're not coilovers but they ride like coilovers they're very firm uh, and they ride really well though uh, it's got the nice aggressive stance to it it still has a stock braking system on there the car also came with a very rare Fidget Subu GTR magazine collaboration exhaust. Uh, it was one of 100 minus serial number 44. It's a single piece titanium 80 millimeter cat bag. And uh, since then I've also put on a Tomei titanium chest pipe and the uh, Tomei titanium equal length Y pipe that comes off the turbos. Uh, has mines front strut bar uh, brand new mines, uh, back skin steering wheel, mines 320 kilometer an hour speedometer, uh, the mines triple meter gauges that sits above the radio, and then it has the brand new mines uh, burnt titanium shift knob, mines Alcantara shift and parking brake boots, and the mines branded leather handbrake handle. And I have a uh, Nismo uh, seat covers for it. I have a uh, Nismo R34 aluminum pedals and a new old stock Tommy Kara dead pedal for all the current cosmetic modifications. In the meantime, uh, I've been basically just accumulating a massive pile of parts for it. I'm kind of doing it in the way I had my Z. Uh, I'm just going to hit it all at once. So all the parts that I've been accumulating are for engine rebuild. There's nothing wrong with the engine, but since I'm going to be putting bigger Tomei turbos on there, uh, basically bought a lot of the Tomei parts that are still available for it. I've even got some vintage Tomei parts. Uh, I'm also doing all the cosmetic restoration on it too. And I've bought new Nismo seat covers for it, all the window and exterior trimming, all the fasteners and hardware that, you, that you'll visibly see on the body of the car itself and under the hood, every single hose, clamp, every, all the electronics, all that's brand new. So it's basically like a restoration, but I'll be updating it and modifying it too. So I guess you can call it a resto mod. Favorite thing about it now, um, it's just the menacing look that it has. The wheels, the gray, the dark tan on there, the blacked out headlights. It's just got this very menacing look and it's a neck snapper. I get questions all the time. Even this morning when I was gassing up, I had three different people coming up to me asking about the car and I get lots of thumbs up when I'm driving it. I have a lot of people that want to try and race me too, <laughs> but I'm not into that. I did find out recently that it had some body damage prior in Japan before it was sold and shipped uh, stateside. 
and but they did a damn good job on fixing the, the prior collision damage that I had to it because you can't even see it now unless you're extremely looking for it. You got to dig deep to find it. Um, but overall, it's a, I would say it's a 9.5 out of a 10 car.